Hi there, this is Robin Andrews from Comp Academy, and this is a video about turtle graphics in Python. Now I've got here a clean installation of Python 3.8.2, and the main reason I upgraded is because I want to use line numbers to be able to reference particular lines of code when I'm teaching online. Now you won't actually see them in this interpreter mode. If you look on options, you see the option is grayed out. But if I create a new file, and then I do save as, I'll just save it on my desktop, and we're going to call this something like, it tries to put it in some <laughs> buried location here, but I'm going to put it on my desktop instead. I'm going to call it something like turtle demo. And I'll call it zero, zero, because we like counting from zero. And it will automatically give it the .py extension, so I don't need to add that. So I've now got a file, and you'll see here under options, I can now show line numbers. So I'm on line one, so that's a good start. Now I'm going to import the turtle module. which we're going to need to do all of our turtle graphics. And now I'm going to define a function called a show pause. And you're going to see why this is useful in a moment. So that's going to take two arguments, x and y, which is basically the position. And I'm just going to print those values, uh, x comma y, that's what I want. Okay, so that's my function for showing the position. Now turtle graphics, you can actually do some really fun stuff. Um, and there's a lot of interactivity that you can get into. So we're going to get into that now. If I do screen equals turtle dot screen. Now very often beginner users of turtle don't get into creating the screen, but it's very useful to have access to a variable that specifically refers to the screen that you're working on. Now I'm going to create a pen. Pen equals turtle dot turtle. Now, beginners often get confused by this notation. Basically, line seven here, this means the turtle module, and it's the turtle class, which belongs to the turtle module, we're calling the constructor of that class. Don't worry if that doesn't make sense. It just means create a turtle and call it pen. Um, I'm also now gonna do screen.listen. Okay, so this is a method on the screen object that we've created. And this allows the screen to listen for user input, such as clicks and keyboard presses. Now I'm going to add a handler for event clicks. So that's going to be screen dot on click. Okay. And that will then call the function that I define here, which I specify here, show pause. That will call that function whenever the mouse is clicked. Okay. And just before I forget, I'm going to do turtle dot done at the end. So basically any turtle program that you write needs to have this at the end in order to enable you to exit from your turtle window, your turtle graphics window. Next we're going to define the shape for our pen. So we're going to do pen dot shape and there's some default shapes available. I'm going to do square. Okay. And that's because basically what I want to demonstrate here is stamping with the turtle which I've written a blog post about that I'll put a link to in the in the description. So I'm now going to do pen dot shape size. Now this might seem a little bit strange. I'm going to do 50. That's the size of the square that I want, the diameter or the base of the square that I want. But I'm going to do divided by 20. And the reason I do that is because the size of the default square shape for turtle is actually 20 pixels. So if I do 50 divided by 20, it comes out right. Now it's a little bit strange how that works but just trust me that's how it works if you want to get a width for your shape then you put the width there and divide it by 20. okay um now i'm going to do pen dot stamp okay so this is this wonderful method of python turtles um, that enables us to make a stamp at the current location and i think we'll leave it there that should run i think yep so we'll just run that now, save it, and then hit F5 to run. Okay, and you can see here we've got a square-shaped turtle in the middle of the screen, but we also have this method where I can click, so I can work out where I am. So if you're trying to work out how the stamp method works and exactly where it places the stamp that it's making, this is a great way of knowing where you are on the screen because whenever you click, the click handler is called, and that's printing out the coordinates. So you can see here, down here, the values are getting displayed. So if I click in the middle, 
should be roughly zero zero. It's hard to get total precision, but 1.0, 4.0 is close enough. And then up here in the corner, okay, I've got that exact, that's negative 25, 25. Okay, so you can see how the coordinates work. So that's pretty much it. There's one more thing I'm gonna show you though, which is you can actually over stamp or stamp over an existing stamp by doing, for example, pen.color. So I'm gonna change the color of my pen to red. And if I stamp again, you'll see that I've actually stamped over my, you saw it very briefly, maybe they had a black one, but immediately it got covered with a red stamp. But of course you can go to as well, so I'll just show that as well. I said that was the last thing, but one more thing. So if we do pen .go to, uh, go to, I don't know, 100, comma 100. Now, you're gonna get a line because I haven't done pen up, so just be aware of that. And then if I do pen dot stamp, okay, save it, run it. Okay, so we've got a new stamp in the new position, centered on that new position. And we've also got the connecting line because I didn't put the pen up for my turtle. So it's worth knowing if you're ever drawing something and you need to move the turtle without you know, seeing a trace of, of its path, then you need to do pen up before doing that. And then do pen down again if you want to continue drawing. So that's basically it, that's a, a short program, but there's actually quite a lot in it. If you're new to Turtle Graphics, there's certainly plenty here to be getting your teeth into. So I'm just gonna remind you what we did. We imported the module. We had a handler here for when we clicked, which at the moment is just printing out the coordinates, but you could do all sorts of things in there, whatever you want to respond to a click. We have a separate screen object that we can work with, including setting the listener. Um, sorry, including setting the, the click handler and first setting the listen method on it so that it will actually listen for clicks. Uh, we've created a, a pen, which is an instance of the turtle class. We've set the shape, we set the size, and then we've used this stamp method. We've then changed the color and stamped again, and then moved, and then stamped again. And always, any turtle program, you need turtle.done. There's also a method which I think is turtle dot exit on click. I think that's what it is. It means exactly the same thing, but I just like turtle.done, it's nice and simple. Okay, so let's just run that again for one last demonstration. And there it is. Okay, so there's some basics about turtle graphics and some new stuff if you are familiar, um, such as listening to events and stamping. So I hope that was useful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.